how to quit porn. In the Bible, Paul uses the word pornea to refer to any type of fornication, any type of inappropriate sexual behavior. So with that definition, that broadens our scope. There's no such thing as soft porn, hard porn. The culture wants you to believe that there is, you know, a little bit, there's a little tiny bit of porn that is acceptable, and that's called soft porn. And then there's the explicit stuff on like Pornhub and stuff. That's bull crap. It's all porn, it's all sin, it's all gonna kill you if you continue to stay down that life. It will, it will, I mean, it will destroy your ability to love, to your ability to serve the other person, because love is all about sacrifice, it's all about serving. And so what is it really? And then how to quit it, that's what we're gonna talk about. It is everywhere, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whether it's a uh, photos between two friends on Snapchat or two people who are dating or talking, whether it be an inappropriate way of dancing on TikTok, a fully clothed person dancing a certain way, it can be pornographic. Instagram pictures, Instagram accounts, Twitter videos, reposts, retweets, it's everywhere guys. And do not let the devil make you feel like it's only porn if it looks like this. Anything that encourages you to think a certain way, to fantasize, um, is pornography. Anything that creates a snowball effect of you um, going into a life or going into an action or a thought process, anything that starts that is pornographic. I've had to quit uh, being a surf instructor. I was a surf instructor for a while uh, here in Hawaii. And after a while you start to realize, wow, these people don't, they're not wearing wetsuits to their uh, swim instructions in Hawaii. People don't wear wetsuits here. It's warm water. And so after a while, I only worked there for like a couple months and I quit. I told my wife, I was like, look, these girls are always naked and I don't want to be around it and it's hurting my thought processes. It's causing me uh, to fall into temptation more easily. And so I quit completely to step away from that. I know that sounds crazy. I know most guys wouldn't do that, but I don't wanna be like most guys. I wanna be like Jesus. And so I had to quit. In my last video with Lust, it's up here if you wanna click the card, I talked about um, resisting and refilling. That's how you overcome and defeat lust ultimately. When it comes to quitting porn, you have to cut off your right hand. This goes for any type of sin that is destroying your life. Jesus says, cut it off, move out, move away from that sin. Practically, Jesus gives very practical, God, uh, he's a very practical God, and he gives us practical advice to cut off anything that's leading you down that type of uh, uh, sin. So I'm not saying delete your Twitter, delete your, delete your TikTok, whatever. I'm saying unfollow people, uh, there's ways to train your algorithm to not show you that type of stuff. You can, you know, on TikTok, you can hold down the screen and say, I'm not interested. On Instagram, you can say, I'm not interested. The algorithm wants you to stay on that app as long as possible. That's why they're showing you inappropriate pornographic stuff because it gets you to stay longer. You can train your algorithm not to show you that. If the temptation is just too great, delete the apps, unfollow people, mute people. Do what you have to do to cut off your right hand per se and move, remove yourself from those places. It might mean saying, mom, I need to homeschool because these girls are, the dress code at our school is worth a piece of crap. You know, girls just wear whatever they wanna to wear to school or maybe in quitting a job like I did. Remove yourself from that situation. But first understand the most important thing is you gotta tell someone. You can't just, walk through this alone. I'm not saying that every time you mess up, every time you make a mistake, that you have to shout it on the rooftops for everyone to hear. I'm saying there needs to be a person in your life that knows this is a struggle in your life. For me, that's millions of people online because I've already talked about it. And it's my wife and she uh, can say, how are you doing with this? And the biggest reason why I've been able to defeat this in my life and to quit it is because of God working through her. You know, God had already uh, giving me freedom from it when I fully trusted in him, but I still struggled with it until I met my wife. And even in our marriage, I struggled with it until she loved me out of it. She kept loving me, kept being patient with me. And I kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And eventually I got stronger and stronger and stronger. And, and if you want to know how to get stronger at that, that's all in my lust video. So go check that out. But practical way to quit porn, guys, I know it sounds stupid. The practical way to quit porn is to quit looking at porn. 
That's how it's that simple. Cut cut it off. But understand this, guys. It starts in the morning. With me and my wife, intimacy starts in the morning. It's not just like, hey, let's let's be intimate. No, I have to be kind to her. I have to show respect to her. She has to show respect to me and love to me. And we pour each other a cup of coffee. We, you know, we clean up after each other. We just help each other. We serve each other. We sacrifice for each other. And that leads into intimacy. Same goes for porn. It's a slow slope into porn. It starts off with a little inappropriate video here, a little inappropriate TikTok there. And it grows and grows and grows. And it's a snowball effect. And eventually it gets to this point, this peak, where it seems impossible to fight. And that's not true. First of all, it's not impossible. God always gives us a way out. But it is very difficult. And so what we do is we stop the slow slope. We cut off our right hand, the Bible says, and we start by removing those distractions at the beginning so they don't roll into it in a later time. So hope this helps, guys. I know that is a lot of information, but it's all really simple. If you think about it, it's just how to quit porn is by quitting, by removing those things from your life. So love you guys. Hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Amen.